Does it worry you that in the opening of the Chinese Beijing Olympics, that Xi Jinping was talking to global leaders and saying, look, I don't, I don't think that the Americans are going to get there for net zero in 2050? Well, sure, it should concern everybody in the world. And I think the meeting that President Putin had with President Xi produced a document which is unlike any readout of a head of state meeting that I've seen in the last 25, 30 years or more. It's a very significant statement about their antipathy, their chafing under the liberal order of the West in their sense that uh, America's best moments have come and gone. They are genuinely attached to the narrative that this century will be the century of an authoritarian, uh, different kind of governance. Uh, and that clash does threaten the world. That is a very serious uh, misconception, I believe, on their part about the way forward by which we are all going to do better. Uh, the United States of America remains very strong, very deep, deep in our culture, deep in our business practices is the capacity to innovate and produce. And whatever political problems we have today within the Congress or on the surface, very visible to everybody, um, we're, not, uh, we're gonna continue to be the most powerful economy for years to come. We're gonna continue to be able to break the barrier. Just look at what we did with respect to vaccines when we put our mind to it. Look at what we've done with respect to private enterprise and space and so forth. So these and, leaders shouldn't be just paying attention to Washington, in other words. I, I think that uh, it's a mistake. I think the American people uh, have a unifying set of values that we don't feel particularly in the cacophony and the divisions of today. But I think deep down, threatened as a nation and threatened in a way of life, uh, Americans will unite and come together as we have in the past. And we are to be reckoned with. And I think that uh, Russia, I mean, you look at Russian economy. Russian economy is smaller than that of Spain. The Russian economy doesn't really make very much. There's a serious challenge in Russia with respect to young people uh, leaving and not, uh, you know, feeling they have a future. You have to look underneath a lot of the surface uh, noise and, and discern trend lines and have a sense of what's really happening. My, my judgment is that uh, the West has frankly been made stronger by what President Putin has done. And it has unified NATO to some degree. It's brought people together. So now let's try to you know, break down these sort of simplistic ways in which we kind of find the differences. And climate is the perfect place to begin the process of proving we can cooperate together and of highlighting the very big, broad principles that should unite us.